Alright, so in this lecture, I will teach you how to install React.js following the best practices. So quickly head on to react.js.org and here is the address. And then click on docs, which is the documentation. Hit on create a new React app. And here is it at the top right corner of the screen. And on the screen is the React documentation. And of course, I always advise the newbies to read up the documentation so as to have a clear knowledge of what React.js is all about. And then scroll down. The mpx command would be used to create a new React app without having to install it on our system. So quickly head on to your desktop and let's proceed. Over here, we are going to create a root directory where we will install the React.js. Right click, hit on new folder. And then this will be called demo. Take note friends, when naming your project, always use a descriptive name that betells the purpose of the project. So you will be able to recognize it in the future. For example, if you are creating an e-commerce application, you have to name this package e-commerce. So in the future, it becomes so easy for you to recognize it. Now I'm going to open up the code editor. And the code editor I'm going to use in this lecture is the VS Code. So you can feel free to use any code editor of your choice, but for me, the VS Code is my favorite. So now I just have to drag and drop this package right into the VS Code. Perfect. And then close down the welcome page. And now I have to maximize the VS Code. The next in line is to open up the VS Code integrated terminal. Click on terminal. And then new terminal. So I'm going to do mpx create dash react dash app and then we have to install it in a package called client and if you are wondering why i named the package client it is simply because react js has to do with the front end which implies the ui part of the application so i highly recommend you stick to the convention client when installing the react js then hit on the enter key to get it fired up. And by the way, make sure your internet connection is turned on. React.js installation is ongoing. And this would definitely take a while, so I just have to fast forward the lecture. React.js installed successful. Here we have to cd client and cd simply means change directory. And of course the client directory is where we installed the React.js. Hit the enter key. Now we are in the client directory. We are going to do npm which stands for node package manager. And we are going to say start. Okay. Hit the enter key to get it fired up. On the screen is the React landing page. And by default, it is running on localhost port 3000. And here is it. Can you see? Perfect. This is exactly how to install React.js. Right, so in the next lecture, I will explain how React.js works under the hood. See you in the next lecture. Stay focused and take care.